When installing a synthetic rope on a new crane, you want to go in and look at any kind of contact points you're going to have between the rope and the surfaces of the machine. You want to make sure that they're smoothed out to keep abrasion of the rope to a minimum. Uh, first place you're going to look is at the hoist drum. You want to make sure that the flanges, the rope contacts as it goes from one layer to the next in the spooling process are as smooth as possible. You want to keep that below 300 micro inch RMS value to ensure that you do not increase the rate of wear on, on your synthetic line. You also want to look at the wedge pocket to make sure that the corners of that are not sharp enough to cut the rope as it's being compressed from above as the layer spool on top of it. You also want to look up and down uh, the, the length of the boom. In any areas where in extreme pick angles you could contact sharp corners uh, like the wear pads and the shiv pins out at the end. You want to make sure that there are no nicks there from any wire that was used previously or any sharp machine corners. I'm on the hook block below the boom nose. You're going to have your steel shivs and the steel plates between the shivs. You want to make sure there are no sharp corners there that as that hook block is laid down could pinch and cut your rope.